the rock star of the wildlife world. NWF's Ranger Rick has been leading the pack for nearly 50 years. And in the years since he first appeared on the conservation scene, he's been a driving force in transforming young naturalists into lifelong nature lovers. Ranger Rick's role began in the early 1960s as NWF searched for a wildlife role model who could appeal to children. This had been a, a, a chief aim of mine for a long time to get the kids in on this thing and grow your own conservationists. At the time we had, uh, we were doing our own Christmas card and one of the artists was doing Christmas cards with a raccoon, which seemed to be pretty popular. Then a colleague brought back a children's book he'd seen overseas. Someone from his company had been in Japan and seen a book similar to Ranger Rick with a little figure that rotated along with the story. There was a cutout in the center of each page the kid would turn this crank, crank and the figure would move. So that was Ranger Rick, how the adventure of Ranger Rick got started. I wrote that book, but the books did pretty well. And that's really what started me with the idea of Ranger Rick Nature Club. To continue to foster enthusiasm in young members, NWF published the first edition of Ranger Rick magazine in 1967. Within five years of launching the magazine, NWF membership nearly tripled. I put the Ranger Rick magazine uh, went in the hole for three years, but the board liked it, so we kept doing it, and now it's a very successful magazine. Today, Ranger Rick boasts a circulation of 400,000, making it one of the world's most popular children's magazines. Ten times a year, the magazine staff at NWF publishes a real page-turner for kids. We begin planning eight months in advance, and at that point, we go out to many nature photographers, get in material, the editors begin doing their research. There's always three or four awesome animal stories with the eye-popping photos. There's always an adventure with Ranger Rick and his friends, and in, in those adventures they always solve a wildlife problem. There's always games and jokes and riddles. There are outdoor activities and nature crafts in every issue. One thing that's very different about us is editorially, we tell it like it is as far as the natural world. We'll show the yuck factor, which our readers seem to like. All of our readers, particularly the 8, 9, and 10 group, they really go for the gross story. The scoop on poop is probably our most popular story of all time, and it's, what, it's about what you think, animal poop. The issues are literally mapped out in a larger-than-life version laid out on this wall before they are sent to print. Putting it on the wall also helps us see how the issue is evolving and color-wise, sometimes we'll look at the wall and go, oh my gosh, the whole issue is blue, or oh my, it's all brown. That's kind of what, why we tack it up, because you see things when you see it in its entirety that you might not see as you're working on the computer on individual articles. But perhaps nothing draws in a Ranger Rick reader faster than the magazine's wonderful covers. I think covers are one of our most difficult assignments. I would say simplicity is one of the things we look for and uh, action, drama, so it's very challenging. This is a brown bear with her cub, and mom had basically just fed her cub some fish. So this Photographer is Susie shot. Esterhaus has shot bear. several Ranger Rick cover shots like this one of a mom and baby bear. Not so long ago, she found the inspiration for her career in the pages of the magazine. When I was a kid, I loved Ranger Rick. It was my favorite magazine, and I used to cut all the photos out of the issue and put them on the wall and told my mom that I wanted to photograph animals for Ranger Rick magazine. Every year, Ranger Rick gets thousands of letters from readers. Publisher Mary Dahlheim read one for us. Dear Ranger Rick, I saw eight raccoons walk through my backyard last night. Were you one of them? Sincerely, Sam F. You feel like you can write to Ranger Rick and ask questions, and, and that, that's what makes it special. Kids feel as though it's their own publication. I mean, it's that same spark that you see in a child's eye when they're taking a nature walk with a park ranger or a naturalist, somebody that really knows the outdoors and can help that child see something that they don't see right away. And it's often that spark, that, that, that thing that, that perks their curiosity to want to know more. 
Ranger Rick is keeping up with the times, and he's going high-tech. Today's kids are learning to explore nature with Ranger Rick's Geocache Trails, a wildlife-themed game featuring everyone's favorite defender of wildlife and his pals that uses the popular GPS-enabled treasure hunting activity, geocaching. Marrying screen time with green time, Ranger Rick's Geocache Trails is just one more way for kids to learn an appreciation for the great outdoors and get all the benefits, like healthy bodies and minds. Over the years, Ranger Rick has made various television appearances. There was this animated version back in the 70s. It's a matter of interpreting our chatter and hearing with your eyes, not just your ears. PBS provided a mixed live action and cartoon adventure in the 80s. What's so, up? How you doing, partner? Real fine, Tom. Till about an hour ago. That's when Ollie found out about the missing eagle. Well, how'd he find out? We haven't told anybody yet. You have Lester, I have Ollie. There may be a time when Ranger Rick is a star on the big screen as well. We're actually developing a feature film with Ranger Rick uh, based on the concept and the idea that uh, Ranger Rick has always been this, um, stood for this symbol of, of nature and wildlife protection. Until then, you can enjoy Ranger Rick's books and more from the website or the NWF online store. The future looks bright for America's favorite wildlife hero. And you may never know where that lovable raccoon will turn up next. Oh, happy, happy